Michael, thank you very much yeah? for accepting yeah. my invitation to film your <laughs> really awesome and quite rare car, right? Yeah, there's uh, around 6,300 in the world and uh, it's 116 sold in Sweden. That's really rare. And how did you go about buying one of these cars? Did you particularly search for Renault M? When they came out, uh, I was oh shit that's my dream car but it was too expensive and then uh, there was a guy who owned this for like three years and then he was about to sell it so i had a little contact with him and uh, first i said no it's too much but then i started to uh, count uh, to see if it was possible to really buy it and own it and uh, it was. <laughs> so is this your first BMW or do you have a history with the brand? I got uh, two other BMWs before this. One diesel 118D and uh, one uh, E30. So was this the original plan when you bought these cars so you could uh, modify it? I'm a car guy so you modify the cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I had a plan and uh, maybe not this one but uh, you can always change it. Next year it might look a bit different. Okay. <laughs> so talk us through the exterior modifications of the car. Uh, the hood is a M3 lookalike head in carbon fiber and the trunk is you call it CSL yeah. trunk uh, in carbon fiber and uh, then the GTS wing from uh, M3 and you got double spoke kidneys lower the car with the KW suspension V3 tint all around and the wheels fit the car very well they are said performance uh, 6.1 20 inches, 9 in the front and uh, 10 and a half in the back uh, with Michelin on. The wrap, I don't like when uh, you just put a carbon fiber hood or trunk on and it looks like, I don't know, I wanted to do something uh, that tied it together. Yeah, I, I like it. And from behind it looks a little bit uh, wider uh, than exactly. a stock one because of the black and then the orange. So have you done any of the mods yourself on the car? Everything. Everything? Yes, everything. So it's even more special since you've kind of <laughs> built it yourself, so yeah. to speak. I have always built my own cars, so yeah. So tell me. How long have you had the car? For? And this is my third season. And how does it feel to drive such a special car? What do you enjoy the most about it? Everything. The... So it's a complete package? Yeah, I always uh, feel great in the car. It's like a rush. <laughs> okay. Cool. Do you want to take me on a ride with it? Of course. Cool. <laughs> Is this your daily driver? <laughs> not really, right? No, not, not anymore. Not anymore? <laughs> no. Last year it was my daily for the summer, not, not the winter. But uh, two weeks ago I bought a E87 118D. That's my daily now. This is for fun and the car meets and so So the interior is more or less stock except for the steering wheel, right? Yes, that's correct. And the steering wheel is the M Performance one in Alcantara. Why did you go for the Alcantara one? It was the one that uh, was in the car when I bought it. Oh, really? Yeah, that was the only thing uh, in the car that was not stuck when I bought it. Okay. So. so, tell me a bit more about the exhaust. Why did you go for the uh, crop of each one? The first exhaust I had was uh, Eisenman, but I didn't like the sound on this car with Eisenman, so when uh, checking on YouTube and so on, the Jack Rapovich is the exhaust to have for this type of car. So, very good, loud, you got the titanium sound. Exactly. N54, but I got the cats out 
and then we have our designs uh, catless downpipes okay. so it's uh, straight pipe and it doesn't sound like the Akrapovich when you have the full exhaust it sounds a little bit more aggressive <laughs> than the Akrapovich full exhaust got the infamous N54 engine. Yeah. Any issues with, with it so far? No, no, not a single issue. I've changed the spark plugs. I have the catch can. The that's that's uh, so you can prevent future problems with the... Yeah. The clutch stop. Yeah. What's, what's that used for? Uh, it's uh, used for... Uh, me, uh, as uh, I'm a little bit shorter than uh, most uh, other guys or girls, the clutch, when you push the pedal with the BMS uh, short throw stop, you don't need to push it that far. So it makes for quicker shifts basically, right? Yeah, you can uh, say that. So tell me about your plans with the car. Are you done for this year or do you plan on doing some more stuff? For this year I'm done, but uh, next year I think it will look different. Uh, I got some uh, few mods more I want to do. I need a cooler to make more boost and power. Then I would like to change the headlights to more DTM look. We'll see uh, how it goes. Well, thank you again Michael for taking me out want to ride their awesome car and for the folks at home that want to know more about Michael's car I'm gonna leave his Instagram account in the comments below I'll see you in the next video